Hi, I'm Britta Fordyce. And on this episode of Rio's Tying the Fly, I'm going to be tying a dubbing bait fish. I'm going to start with a number six saltwater short tank hook. I've got my olive 140 denier thread. I'm going to go ahead and start right behind the eye here and wrap backwards, making sure that I cover the entire shank of this hook. You want to make sure that you cover it just to keep those materials locked in so that nothing pulls out or slides on you. Stopping it right there between the hook point and where the barb is, cutting off my excess thread. Now I'm going to tie in a piece of silver flat braid. So what I'll do is go ahead and hold this with my left thumb and forefinger and do a few wraps right around that loosely and then tight. Work my way back to where I stopped my thread before. Now what I get to do is wrap all the way back up the shank here. You could do a kind of sloppy job because it doesn't really matter. You're going to be covering your thread now at this point with the braid. So now I take my flat braid and I'm going to wrap away from me right up against that hook shank and work my way all the way up to right where I stopped my thread. Now I'm going to tie this off with a couple wraps of thread over the flat braid. I'm going to cut off this excess. You want to make sure that you don't cut your thread on accident. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is take the dubbing that I'm going to use for the back of the fish. So I'm going to start with doing some hand stacking of this material here by just pinching and pulling so that it ends up all lined up nicely together. The beauty of using dubbing for a dubbing bait fish is that it's always the same length when you're done stacking it. So you never have to do any measuring or cutting in any way. You want to pinch in the middle of this stacked clump here, right at the center of it. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch hands and have it even with where my thread is and do a couple loose wraps and then a couple tight wraps of thread and then leave it alone. Now we're going to go ahead and flip the hook upside down and I'm going to do the exact same thing with the belly dubbing this time. So it's going to be hand stacked. I'm going to pinch it in the middle of it, switch hands, then I'm going to do a couple loose wraps, a couple tighter wraps, now I'm going to flip my hook so it's laying sideways and pull these fibers back so that my thread doesn't get caught in them. Now I hold those back and flip my hook so it's vertical. Kind of tease those fibers back. Now I'm going to do some wraps right in front of them so that we make sure that those fibers stay back for us. There you go. So this dubbing bait fish is now complete, except for the head, which we're going to do now right after I whip finish. So I'm going to whip finish this. And this fly is fantastic for both tidal waters, brackish water or partial salt, salt water. Um, also great for lakes. It works really good if you did a, just a um, more of a clear or translucent color dubbing instead for both sides. It would be a great little chub minnow in a lake. There's lots of options and combinations you could do with it and it's relatively cheap because all you're buying is a couple colors of dubbing. So it works out pretty good. <clears throat> Next up I have some three millimeter eyes here. These are 3D stick, -on, stick on eyes. I'm going to go ahead and take one and place it right there behind where I stopped the thread on my fly. And then I'm going to take this and do this exact same thing for the other side. So now we have two eyes that are just temporarily stuck on there. I'm going to take my UV glue, hold this material back, put a drop of that glue on there, right in between the top two eyes. I'm going to hit the light on this and set it. Now I'm going to take my thumb and forefinger and pull those materials back again. And I'm going to add a drop here right in between the eyes on the bottom. Hit it with my UV light. So now that I'm done setting this with my UV light, I'm going to go ahead and put that down. And now is a good time to take some just clear head cement and coat that head right around the eyes that you just glued in with your UV product. 
It gives it some added durability and keeps that head nice and clear for you. Other than that, you've got a great bait fish pattern that will work just about anywhere and every fish wants to eat it. So thanks for watching me tie a dubbing bait fish.